Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Kimani and guess what? I have another video for you guys. So today we're gonna be talking about my stats and my extracurriculars. So why don't we hop into this video? As promised, I am going to let you guys know where I committed. So drum roll please. Come on, you guys gotta give me a better drum roll than that. I committed to Harvard! <laughs> yes, I am so elated to announce that I will be attending Harvard University in the fall of 2020 as part of their graduating class of 2024. I am truly elated. I am overwhelmed with excitement at the many opportunities that await me on campus. And I am really proud to be a part of the Harvard family. So if you're also a part of the class of 2024 and you're watching this video, shout out to you and congrats on getting accepted. Thanks guys for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so why don't we get straight into my stats? So I took the SAT three times. Now, the first time I took the SAT, I went in totally unaware without any preparation. I went on a whim just to see what the test was like, which is a big mistake, guys. Don't do that. If you are an underclassman, hear me and hear me well. Do not go and take and pay for an SAT or even get a waste a fee waiver without studying for that exam. So I went in and took that exam and I got a 1320 on my first try. Now people were telling me that wasn't a good score, but I knew for top tier colleges and universities, that was not gonna cut it and that was not my goal. So I, I took it once more in May and when I took it again, I scored a 1400. So that was an 80 point improvement from my 1320 to a 1400. So now I'm getting in the 1400 range, which is a bit better, but I still was not satisfied with that score. So I took it again in June of my junior year and I scored a 1480. So I made a 160 point increase over the course of a few months. And now I did this all without the help of a tutor I, I self taught, I taught myself and I practiced by myself for hours doing practice tests on Khan Academy, which is your best resource. So utilize Khan Academy. And I improved my score by watching YouTube videos on how to improve your SAT score. I took the um, lessons on Khan Academy and I just kept taking practice tests to become more familiar with the test. And the SAT test is really not a um, test about your knowledge, rather it's a test about how familiar you are with the SAT. So the more you get familiar with the type of questions they ask, the better you'll be able to perform on that test. So I got a 1480 and that's the score I submitted to Harvard. All right, so now why don't we get into my GPA and my classes as well as any APs I've taken over the course of my senior year. So I'm looking down at my computer so I can give you guys my transcript. Oh, I just want to give you the context of my school. So my school is a newly established charter school and located in Hempstead, New York on Long Island. So we're a newly established charter school and I am a part of the school's first graduating class. Can you say what? Yes, I'm a part of the school's first graduating class. So just understand that context and my school is still developing. So we've, uh, as you, you'll he hear me explain later, we didn't have the opportunities as many other established schools as far as a wide range of academic courses. However, our school tried to provide us with the most rigorous courses that they could. And I took full advantage of that as is reflected in my transcript. So why don't we get straight into this portion of the video. So in ninth grade, I took drama, English nine, US history, algebra CC, or referred to as algebra one, 
physical education, health, living environment, and te technology, which we, which is also known as business and finance. So for drama, I received the A. For English 9, I received a B in the fall semester. My teacher was really hard. And then in the spring semester, I received the A plus. So that was great. Um, I, I took US history. I got an A in both semesters. Um, I took algebra one, got an A plus in both semesters. Math is my strong suit, as you can tell. Um, I got an A in health. Living environment, I also got an A both semesters. And technology slash business and finance, I got an A plus both semesters. And that year I took three regions courses, which regions are mandated standardized tests in New York State. So during that year, I took US history, which I got a 99 on. Algebra one, I got a 92. And there was one more living environment, which I got an 88. Our living environment teacher, you know, we had some difficulties, but I made it through. So, um, sophomore year, I took English 10, Spanish 1, Global History and Geography 1, Geometry, Algebra 2 CC. So I took two maths this year, Geometry and Algebra 2, um, Physical Education, Chemistry, Introduction to Computer Science, and Visual Arts. So, English 10, I got an A both semesters. Spanish 1, A both semesters. Global History and Geography, A both semesters. Geometry, I did not take a class for this. I self-studied after school with my Algebra 1 teacher who got a group of accelerated students and he taught us geometry without um, us formally taking the class. So in order to obtain credit for geometry on our transcript, we had to get an 85 or above on the New York State Regents. And I was able to score an 89 on that Regents exam. So I was able to get credit for taking geometry, which is a full year class without even taking it a full year. So that was great. So I cut one year of mathematics out of my high school career. So I also took algebra two that year I took chemistry, introduction to computer science and visual arts, which I received an A in both semesters for all of those classes. That year I took the algebra two regions, which I got a 95 on. I took the chemistry regions, I got a 79 on, and I took geometry, which I got an 89 on, as I told you, without even taking the class. Okay, and now 11th grade, which is my junior year, I took English 11 honors. So prior to 11th grade, my school did not offer any AP classes or honors classes. So junior year is the, really the first time that we're being offered an honors or AP class. So here it goes. I took English 11 honors, philosophy, which was a half year course, public speaking, another half year course, Spanish two, Global History and Geography 2, AP Psychology, Pre-Calculus, Physics, and Music. So in English 11 Honors, I got an A plus both semesters. Philosophy, I had an A plus that fall semester. Public Speaking, A plus spring semester. In Spanish 2, I had an A both semesters. Global History and Geography, I had an A both semesters. Pre-calc, I had an A both semesters. AP Psych, A both semesters. And in physics and music, I had an A both semesters. So junior year was a really a packed year for me, taking some rigorous courses, but I did my best and I put my best foot forward, which allowed me to succeed. And I was able to get only A's in all of my classes and even some A pluses, which was very rewarding. So. During my junior year, I took some regents exams. I took the English regents exam and I got a 99 on that exam. 
I took the physics exam and I was successful. I got a 95 on that physics exam. And those were the only two regions I had to take. And at this point I had already uh, secured my regents requirement for graduation. So I was set for senior year. I also took AP Psychology where I was able to score a four on that exam. And let me just add this in. We did not have an AP Psych teacher. So we, the school paid for us to take the course online through um, an educational program called Peak, Peak Learning. So we, every day we had a block of 45 minutes where we would log on to Peak and we would have a virtual instructor who would teach us and uh, give us assignments. So we did not have an in-class teacher for that, but I was still able to persevere and score a four on that exam. And currently in 12th grade, I am taking AP English Lit, Economics, Participation in Government, AP Computer Science Principles, cal College Calculus, Spanish 3, American National Government, which is a college course, and College Composition, another college course, which I'll be getting credit for because the course is in conjunction with Malloy University. So my school has been doing a dual credit program with them, enabling us to obtain college credit as high school seniors. So I'm taking three college classes this semester, as well as two APs, and as well as my other high school requirements. Now, my GPA, what you guys have been waiting for, my GPA is 4.0652. And our GPA is out of 4.3. If you get all A pluses, you'll have a 4.3. So my GPA is 4.0652. And my rank is one out of 95. So I am number one in my class. And now let's move on to my activities. So, Extracurricular activities, I'm reading from my Common App, so these are all the things that I put on my Common App. I was the president of our student council. I was the co-captain of the speech and debate team. I was the National Honor Society president. In 11th grade, I was a tenor saxophone section leader in our concert band. I led a service learning club after school I'm also a youth leader at my church, Calvary Tabernacle, where I organize weekly youth services every Friday and also plan events for the young people to enjoy. I'm also uh, one of the school's graphic designers, so I avail myself to my school and my school's administration whenever they need flyers or anything to promote the school, so I do assist with that. I was... Um, the senior activities coordinator and event planner. I'm a part of my church's choir at Calvary Tabernacle, and I'm also a media ministry volunteer at my church. So those are some of the things, those are the, the activities that I put on my Common App. Um, some community service slash volunteer experience I've had. I am a part of Influence Day, which is a day my church gives back to the community and I am the only, I'm one of the only youth, um, youth representatives on that committee. So I participated in giving away a thousand free backpacks and school supplies to low income families in the village of Hempstead and surrounding villages. And I, I organized and led a group of volunteers to operate the kids zone. And I served, we served po free popcorn and cotton candy. I'm also a part of Calvary Tabernacle's outreach ministry, where I, we participate in Thanksgiving Day outreach by packing and delivering hot meals on Thanksgiving Day to those in need. Also, we do monthly nursing home visits every first Saturday to those who are sick and in, 
who are in the nursing home and in need of someone to brighten their day with smiles, joy, and laughter. And I also, as you heard before, I serve on the Calvary Tabernacle Youth Ministry as one of the youth leaders where I organize weekly youth services and coordinate events. Some of the projects I undertook as president of the student body was a Valentine's Day bake sale, our 2019 Spirit Week and Pep Rally, which we've never had. It was our first Spirit Week and Pep Rally. It was phenomenal, off the chain. Our fall festival, which we again initiated, and our first student-led field day. So those were some of the projects that we undertook as the student body council. And I, let me just include that. Our school prior did not have a student body council. So I was the first president ever of my school student body council, which I count as a privilege and an honor. The honors and awards I've received are principals list all throughout my high school career every semester. I was on the principals list, which is comprised of the top five scholars with the highest GPA every semester. I was Exodus Youth Member of the Year, which is an award given by my church, Calvary Tabernacle, who award faithful, active, and committed youths in ministry and also in the community. I was a Long Island Forensic Association Speech and Debate finalist that I award. I won that award in 10th grade. I um, was installed into the National Honor Society in 11th grade, which is an academic honor awarded to scholars who maintain a GPA of 3.5 or higher their freshman and sophomore years. My uh, debate partner and I, we won first place at the Spring Classic of the American Debate League 2019 High School Spring Tournament. We took home first place as a team. Some school awards I've won is excellence in pre-calculus, commitment to excellence in physics, outstanding work ethic in Spanish, Herodotus Historian of the Year Award, and the Panther Crescendo Award. And most recently and most notably, I was deemed a Jack Kent Cook Foundation Scholarship National Semifinalist. I'm very honored to be um, a semifinalist for the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. Some special educational experiences I did during the summer before my senior year was I took a um, summer pre-college program at Adelphi University. Definitely recommend their pre-college program. You should go and check it out. So I took a course titled Introduction to Teaching and Teacher Education because I thought I wanted to be a teacher, but I quickly realized <laughs> that was not my uh, field, even though I love education and I love empowering others to learn and succeed through the power of education. I realized that was not my intended vocation. So, and I also took a course at Long Island University, um, a model UN program where I, we simulated the Security Council of the Model UN, and I was Japan, the head of the Security Council, and it was a great experience. I mean, students from all around the nation came to that program, and we had just a phenomenal time. So I also recommend checking out that program if you're inter interested in some summer uh, pre-college programs. That is all for today, folks. If you have any more questions, feel free to Drop them in the comments down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle will be across the screen. And you can shoot me a DM if you have any questions about Harvard or any questions about applying to Ivy League schools, top tier colleges. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and be sure to subscribe so you can always uh, be privy to the content that I am creating and hit that notification bell so you can get a notification whenever I post a video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. 
and I am so excited for what awaits my college journey. In the next video, if you guys want, just let me know in the comment section. I can share with you my essays, my personal statement. I have a lot of tips on that. Um, the supplemental essays that I wrote that got me into Harvard. If you would like to hear more about that, just leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to make a video about it. All right, thanks guys for watching this video. This is how I got into Harvard as well as three other Ivy League schools. And I hope to see you at my next video. So thanks for watching, all right? Bye.